Hey there, everyone. It's me, Esther Barkew. Today, I want to share with you two tips on how you can begin to notice and observe auras. All right. And this is in support of the upcoming class that I'm going to be hosting, uh, Clean and Repair Your Aura. It is an energy process. It's coming up at the end of January. There is a link below with all of the information. Now, the first thing I want you to know is that absolutely everybody can see auras. Absolutely. It is not something that is special or unique to any one particular person. We all have that ability. For some people, it comes quite easily. And for other people, you have to develop it like you would develop any skill. And that's okay. And I'll tell you, this you catch on to this quite quickly. All right? So here's the first way, is through visualization. All right. And if you're saying, Esther, I can't even visualize anything else. How am I going to visualize this aura? Maybe if you focus on visualizing auras, that's going to crack open the door to visualizing all kinds of other things. Keep up with your practice. You will get there. So here's my suggestion. Pick a person, pick your pet, pick something in nature, a tree, a flower, a rock, pick an object in your home. Okay, that is going to be your focal point. Hold the intention of, I am observing and noticing auras. Okay, hold that as your intention. Then I want you to focus on that object, that person, your pet, that piece of nature, uh, quite intensely, like it's a hard focus. You're really focusing on it, okay? For about, I would say up to a minute, 30 to 60 seconds, then close your eyes and bring that object to the screen of your mind and then just watch the colors will appear. Okay, watch the colors will appear. And if you do it the first time you're, you think, I'm not getting anything, I'm not seeing anything, please refrain from saying this doesn't work or I don't work um, because those are just limiting beliefs that'll get in the way. Give yourself credit for trying it and then keep on trying. Okay. Cause it does work. So hold the intention. I am observing and I'm noticing auras. Then pick an object, focus in on it, then close your eyes and notice what begins to appear. Okay. You're starting. You are starting. The second tip I want to give you right now, you need a white wall. You need a night wall and you need an object that is very vibrant in color. So I looked around this apartment. It's not my apartment to see what was here that was vibrant. I came up with two things. My host on the weekend dropped me off some citrus from her garden and I went, Ooh, that's, Perfect, nice bright orange. And then I saw in the bathroom, she had this green bar of soap. So these were the two that I am using for this demonstration. I also practiced um, prior to doing this video. Now, here's what you do. You hold up the object, there you go, to the wall. And then you are going to look at it, but you're not going to look directly at it. I want you to look off the side and this time a softer gaze, a softer gaze. So when you hold the object up on the wall, you're going to see this shadow. So I acknowledge there's a shadow. And then I shifted my eyes. So I'm looking off to the side and soften the gaze. And hold that for, again, about 30 to 60 seconds. But in that 30 to 60 seconds, you will begin to see an aura ring around it. Now, this particular orange was very interesting. When I looked at it, I saw white, like a, a distinct white around it. Then I saw yellow. Then I saw the orange. So I saw three rings of aura around this orange. Okay. This tells me it's a very high vibration orange. I will probably eat it later on today. Then I looked at the bar of soap. Again, I put it against the wall. I noticed the shadow. I looked not directly at it, just off to the side, soft gaze. This one, I also got a white ring around it, and then I got an orange ring around it, and then I got the green ring around it. So again, I got three layers of aura. 
All right, so really nice and easy. So what I'd like you to do is try uh, these techniques. Let me know in the comment space below what came up, what did you notice? If you have any questions for me, leave those as well. I will incorporate those questions in upcoming videos before our class. The class is about repairing and cleaning your aura. It is an energy process. And if you would like more information about it, click on the link below. Okay, the sign up is there. But also, if you're catching this video and you're thinking, Esther, I don't even know what an aura is, I would say, great, let's get you caught up with uh, that. At the link below is also some really nice basic information about what an aura is. Everyone has one, including you. All right, everybody. So start there and I'm looking forward to hearing what you come up with and what objects you use. All right. Ciao for now.